Falcha, I'm so happy you're here. I recently was in Dublin, such a glorious city, and I acquired some books. So I thought it'd be really fun to like make a video of it, show off the gorgeous city of Dublin, and then chat books. So, on to Dublin. currently like walking my trinity with my camera taking so many clips like all the time and I feel like such a filthy tourist like I'm, I'm Irish I belong here stop making me feel like such a touristy outsider but I hope these clips have been worth it so far uh, there's big big normal people vibes wandering around trinity I'm very Marianne Sheridan but I feel like an imposter because I'm still even here I am sweating. This is this is not just a really good highlighter. I am unbelievably sweating. Carrying a heavy bag of books. Very thirsty and also in dire need of coffee, which I know are two things that don't really go together, but I think this is going way down now um, from here. So I hope you're enjoying as much as possible. I'm gonna try and get some caffeine. I was very restrained when bookshopping in Dublin. I came across some of the most gorgeous bookshops I have seen, um, but as my accent gives away, I am from Belfast and therefore my currency I'm used to pounds, not euro. Books are so expensive. Like, man. So I was very restrained by you know, both just not buying that many books and also by my bank account. Um, but I got three books and let's talk about them. I will start with one I got in the most gorgeous secondhand bookstore I've ever been in which was the last bookshop. It was gorgeous, it was stacked like floor to ceiling as you have already seen and wow I was overwhelmed to say the least but through my hunting I came across one book and that is Unkind by Charlie Kaufman. She's thick. Um, I don't want to spoil the ending but let's see how many pages. 700 pages. I honestly thought it was going to be like 800. I thought it was bigger um, but Charlie Kaufman is weird so I know this book is going to be weird but I'm excited to read it. So 
B. Rosenberg or Rosenberg, neurotic and underappreciated film critic, stumbles across a hitherto unseen film by an enigmatic outsider. Already the words in this. I'm like, damn, you're going to be using some eccentric prose. A three month long stop motion masterpiece, the ticket's reclusive auteur, 90 years to complete. B. knows it's his mission to show it to the rest of humanity. The only problem is, the film is destroyed. All that's left is a single frame from which B. must somehow attempt to recall the work of art that might just be the last great hope of a civilization. Civilization. Be great if my brain could kick into gear. It's a cute cover. I'm here for a weird book and it does seem weird. Let's see. Is the first page gonna be weird? Because I feel it will be. It lands with a thunk. From nowhere, out of time, out of order. Thrown from the future or perhaps from the past, but landing here, in this place, at this moment, which could be any moment, which means you guess, it's no moment. It, ha it appears to be a film. I just want to read all these right now. I, I, it seems so good. Um, so I will keep you updated whenever I get to this big chunky book because I definitely have the big book fear. But I was so glad to pick this up in the cutest bookshop ever. In this next shop, which I can show you right now, not only did I just get books, I got two books. I also got a tote bag. I love her. I have been using this every single day since. It's one of the most gorgeous tote bags I've ever got. Books upstairs. I am your biggest fan. Um, she's cute. She is very sturdy with these handles. And what I love even more is look! It has a little phone pocket. You can't see it. Yeah! A little phone pocket. So I put my phone and my keys in there so they do not get lost at the bottom of the tote bag. And it's a game changer. It truly is a game changer, but I'm not here to try and sell you tote bags. I'm here to talk about books. So as I showed you, I got two. And I will start with one of the most stunning books I've whatever. And it is a Penguin cloth band classic, which I've wanted for forever. And that is The Lottery by Shirley Jackson. I am a massive Shirley Jackson fan. I I just adore her work and I'm working my way through it slowly because I, I say I've been trying not to buy books. Um, I haven't been doing very well based on my recent Belfast haul <laughs> and this Dublin haul. But I, I have been working through what I own. So I've read The Haunting of Hill House. We always lived in the castle. I'm starting Hangs a Man imminently. I need to start it very soon. And now I have The Lottery as well. I have read the short story of The Lottery, um, which actually I will link it below. It's free on the New York Times. You can read the whole short story online and it's stellar. So if you do one thing today, please read The Lottery. But um, The Lottery Book by Shirley Jackson is a collection of short stories. So The Lottery itself does feature, but we also have Nightmare, The Witch, Mrs. Spencer and the Oberons. I just love the titles. The Renegade, Mrs. Anderson, The Little House, The Tooth, Journey with a Lady, The Order of Charlotte's Going, The Demon Lover, One Ordinary Day with Peanuts. Like, pop off Miss Jackson. The Very Strange House Next Door and The Lottery. So it's stunning, it's so small. I have really small hands. Um, and it's like the size of my hand. <laughs> and then the next book I got is like, um, one of the large paperbacks, cause I don't think, Ireland are able to get a lot of the large paperbacks. You know, like you would get in the airport whenever books are out on hardback, but they're in a paper book, paperback, but they're just bigger. Um, I think I was talking to someone who owns a bookstore and Ireland apparently can get those. The rest of the UK doesn't seem to be able to, but Ireland can. So Shirley Jackson, love, and onto the big book. I got Holy Woman by Louise Omer. Can we just appreciate the cover? I also feel we need to bring this in closer and appreciate her also. They're just both so pretty. Holy Woman I had actually seen on TikTok. It is published by Scribe. And Scribe? It's TikTok. It's popping off. I actually think it might be like Scribe Australia or something. They have such a good TikTok. Um, but they like sent a creator an entire box of books and she was just like, I like unhinged women. And this was one of them. And 
it's stunning. It's actually a non-fiction, which I haven't read a non-fiction in quite a while, but it sounds insane. So, Louise Omer was a Pentecostal preacher and faithful wife, but when her marriage crumbled, so did her beliefs. Haunted by questions about what it means to be female in a religion that worships a male god, she left behind a church and home to ask women around the world, how can we exist in patriarchal religion and can a woman be holy? With less than £300 in her pocket and the conviction that she was following a divine path, Louise began a prel- <laughs> it's so weird saying Louise, as if it's like not me, and it obviously isn't, I'm talking about this lovely lady, but it's really weird to read out loud. Louise began a pilgrimage that has taken her to Mexican basilicas, Swedish cathedrals, Bulgarian mountains and Moroccan mosques. Holy Woman combines travel writing, feminist theology and confessional memoir to interrogate modern religion and give a raw and personal expectation of spiritual life under patriarchy. Yes, I love reading about religion in books. I grew up in a religious household. Um, my parents still go to church and I go sometimes with them, even though obviously as an adult, a little bit of a complicated relationship, I don't entirely, don't entirely know what the crack is, but I'm hoping this book will um, enlighten me a little bit. But the church they go to is one of the most progressive churches. Um, we actually get a lot of crap in Northern Ireland because LGBT people are welcome and encouraged, like the minister does a stall at Pride. Um, it's so wonderful and so wholesome. One of the times I did go whenever I was at home, there was a talk on like sex workers in, you know, like in the Bible and, you know, like modern day connotations and stuff and, you know, how they're not bad, which obviously preaching that to a congregation, I say congregation, they all sit on sofas and drink coffee and they have oat milk so it's not just like pews um but like if you told me whenever i was like 10 that my parents would be listening to talks on like sex workers in church rather than just like the bible i'd be like nah you're joking so complete um aside there but this book seems wonderful and apparently my parents have been talking about it to people at church and next time I'm home I have to bring it and lend it around so I hope it's gonna be good. <laughs> so there we go the three books I bought in Dublin I am so unbelievably excited to read them and mwah, I am so happy you have been here thank you so much for coming along and I'm excited to see you next week